Hi, welcome back to the Siddhartha podcast for chapter 7 and chapters 8. I will be answering some questions about both chapters. In chapter 7, Samsara, question number 1. What becomes of Siddhartha's, quote, glorious, exalted awakening, unquote, that he had experienced in his youth? Answer, it becomes a memory and passes away. Question number two, when Siddhartha's soul goes to sleep, what becomes more awakened? Answer, his senses become heightened. Another way of saying it is that his sense of touch, his sense of sight, sound, all become enhanced. Question number three, what are some of the things Siddhartha learns to do while living in the town after meeting Kamala and Kamaswami. He learns to transact business, exercise power over people, amuse himself with lust, wear fine clothes, command servants, bathe in sweet-smelling waters, eat rich foods, and drink wine. Question number four. In what game does Siddhartha become increasingly involved? Siddhartha becomes increasingly involved with dice, gambling for money, and jewels. Question number five. What does Siddhartha dream when he becomes dissatisfied with his gambling life? Answer. He dreams that Kamala's bird dies in its cage and he throws it away on the road. He is horrified by this and he feels as if he has thrown away what is good and a value to himself and in himself. Question number six. What discovery does Kamala make after the disappearance of Siddhartha? Answer. Kamala discovers she is pregnant with Siddhartha's child. Question number seven. For what does Siddhartha passionately wish when he leaves Kamala and the town? Answer. He wishes for death and tries to commit suicide. Question number eight. What sound comes to Siddhartha that awakens his, quote, slumbering soul, unquote? Siddhartha hears the sound, Om. Question number nine. Who does Siddhartha see when he awakens from his long sleep? Answer. He sees a monk in a yellow gown and realizes it is his old friend, Govinda. Question number 10. What things does Siddhartha claim he has had to experience, quote, just in order to become a child again and begin anew, unquote? Answer. He has had to experience stupidity, vice, error, feelings of sickness, disillusionment, and sorrow. So those are questions and answers from chapters 7 and 8. Hi, we are back with the Siddhartha podcast for chapters 9 and 10. I will be going through some questions and some answers on basic facts that have been going on in these two particular parts of the story. Question number one, what is it that brings Siddhartha feelings of love, enchantment, and gratitude? Answer, his love for the flowing river brings him these feelings. Question number two, who is Vasudeva. Answer. Vasudeva is the ferryman who takes Siddhartha into his service and apprenticeship. Question number three. What is the first, quote, secret from the river, unquote, that Siddhartha learns? Answer. He learns that there is no such thing as time. Quote, the river is everywhere at the same time, at the source and at the mouth, at the waterfall, at the ferry, at the current, in the ocean, and in the mountains, everywhere, and that the present only exists for it. 
unquote. Question number four. What one word does the river pronounce, quote, when one is successful in hearing all its 10,000 voices at the same time, unquote? Answer. The river says, om. Question number five. What becomes of Kamala? Answer. She is bitten by a snake while on a pilgrimage to see the dying Buddha, and she dies. Question number six. How does Siddhartha's son behave while living in the hut by the river? Answer. He is a spoiled rich boy who refuses to do any work, and he is disrespectful of others. Question number seven. What does Vasudeva suggest Siddhartha should do for his son? Answer. Vasudeva suggests that Siddhartha should take the boy back to the town where he grew up and find him a life that includes people his own age. Question number eight. What is the boy's reaction when Siddhartha asks him to gather some twigs in, for the fire? Answer. He refuses and then goes on to tell Siddhartha how much he hates his father. The boy runs away the next day. Question number nine. Question. Siddhartha tries to find his son after he runs away. Why does Siddhartha stop his search at the garden that had once belonged to Kamala? Answer. Standing at the garden, Siddhartha remembered his life, and in doing so, he realized it was a foolish desire to follow his son. He realizes that he cannot help his son and that he shouldn't force himself on his son. And those are some questions and answers from chapters 9 and 10 of Siddhartha. Hi, this is the Siddhartha podcast for chapters 11 and 12 of the story. We will be going through questions and answers in these chapters. Question number one. What knowledge does Siddhartha possess that he many times, quote, doubted was of such great value, unquote. Answer, he possesses the consciousness of the unity of life, but he has begun to think that it is, quote, perhaps the childish self-flattery of thinkers who were perhaps only thinking children, unquote. Question number two, when Siddhartha bends over the water of the river and sees his reflection, of whose face is he reminded? Answer. Siddhartha is reminded of his father's face when he sees his own reflection. Question number three. To what realization does Siddhartha come after seeing his reflection in the water? Answer. He realizes that his father had suffered the same sorrows of Siddhartha's leaving that Siddhartha now suffers at the leaving of his own son. Question number four. After listening to the song of the river, where does Vasudeva go? Answer. Vasudeva goes into the woods to die. Question number five. Who hears tales about the old ferryman by the river and decides to go see him? Answer. Govinda hears the tales and decides to go see the old ferryman. Question number six. According to Siddhartha, what is the difference between seeking and finding? Answer. To seek means to have a goal. To find means to be receptive without a goal. Question number seven. What does Siddhartha hold in his hand and tell Govinda that it may one day possibly become either a plant, an animal, or a man? Answer. He holds a stone, which within a certain amount of time may break down to become soil and then become a plant, an animal, or a man. Question number eight. What does Govinda claim that the illustrious one called illusion and forbade his followers to bind themselves? And the illustrious one is the Buddha. Answer. He forbade them to bind themselves to love. Question number nine. 
What does Govinda see in Siddhartha's face? Answer. When Govinda looks into Siddhartha's face, he sees many other faces, hundreds, thousands, which seem to be all there at the same time. And yet we're all Siddhartha.